<laughs> I just want power! Let there be lights! Wait, hold up. I saw a spark. Alright. I didn't know if I needed to fix something. Okay. Minus the massive fire in the fuel storage room. Um we have we have a fabricator. That makes me happy. <laughs> they fucking stack perfectly on top of each other. Okay. I need stuff. I need bullets. Lots and lots of bullets. We are gonna create two batches of this. I like how I have 37 neuro or uh, exotic materials. I could make I can make up to 10 neuro mods right now if I had the other resources for it. Do I? Do I? I used to until I just made those shotgun shells. <laughs> okay, well we'll be fine. Um, I, I think I prefer having survivability at the moment versus two extra, or like four extra, whatever. Bullets for my pistol are important as well. It's actually a pretty effective way to finish enemies off, which is nice. Okay, and now we can go for the Neuromods, even though we have all these things now. Psy Hypos require exotic material, but we have 34, so I don't really care. Uh... Suit Repair. That's not so bad, actually. Okay. It'd actually be pretty interesting if you could carry your upgrades to every single gun, and then you could, like, dismantle things and use them just later on. But we're fine. More neuromods. I need to be able to research everything. Okay, I actually underestimated how much we could have made. All right, I think there'll be uh, one more. Now I can't make any more at all. Six Neuromods! Yeah! Okay, Brittany, what were you up to? Uh, Shuttle Bay access. Hey, Brit, I must have missed you. Please let me know when you're back so you can let me into Shuttle Bay. Sorry to keep bugging you, but security hasn't issued me a keycard yet. Thanks. <laughs> Red, please let me in. Okay. So we have up to 11 neuro mods right now. If I wanted to, I could finish off a couple of things. I could either start heading into these trees, hacking three, repair three. I, I really should. As much as I really am enjoying my Typhon powers, We, we're still limited on exploration, and that's kind of- that's killing a lot of our buzz. We keep finding stuff that makes us go, Oh, I can't access it right now. So, I'm gonna go for- we're gonna go hacking three. Actually... If we go repair three, that will let us fortify turrets. If I go leverage two... That'll last access a bunch of stuff as well. Hacking three. <laughs> I need to fucking finish them so I can access everything. Hello, little turrets. No oxygen detected beyond this point. VIP shuttle bay. Oh. I don't think anyone's alive in there. Although maybe. Alright, hold on. Let me test something. So if we repair this guy... Yeah, yeah, alright. I made you. Oh, okay, my company made you. My dad's company made you. Or, and my mother's too, I guess. We haven't heard much about them. We just know that, well, they they're, uh, were they're kids, and they're successful. But there you go. Hacked it. Doesn't care about me now. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> if I look at the station map, 
Where are we right now? We're still in the guts. And we could get access to the shuttle bay. Which has kind of a direct access to Talos 1's lobby. It'd also be nice just to have access to it from the outside. So that way, even if there's nothing for me to do in it right now, I can have a faster way to get there by just going outside the space station. Ah, uh, we're gonna go. It's a risky prospect. I'm doing... We're going back to exploration when I should be going to the Arboretum to see what's going on up there. But, uh... I'm curious. We're here. We have the access to the shuttle bay. And... Maybe there'll be survivors sitting inside one of the ships. Hazardous atmosphere conditions. Malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. Hazardous environments. So... If I go into an area with gravity, but no oxygen, our character kind of walks in here and has his helmet on a little bit more officially, where it's actually like making a difference on the screen. Nice. Uh-oh. Unlock. All right. <laughs> I got worried there for a second. I saw that the, that it was red rather than green. I thought we were locked in here. Huh. Well, this is dangerous. I don't know if there are any enemies in here, but I'm sure some will show up. Oh, there's the airlock. I can kind of immediately access that, but is there a catch? Is there a mimic? Air supply system malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. Right. Okay. Danger. Radiation. I can handle radiation poisoning. I, I would just uh, try to avoid that for now, though. You know, there are a lot of areas I could access. Uh, ow. Ow, really? Okay, fair enough. Heat can, you know... Can there be, uh, conducted through the air? Blue gun, what the hell am I doing? Here. Anyways, what I was gonna say is... There are a lot of areas in the Talos 1 lobby that I think we can gain access to now. Oh, fuck. So we gotta keep an eye out for that. I'm not a fan of this guy, but he can't get to us. Although he could, you know, project shots to the wall. Which would suck for us. Ooh, spooky! New psionic aptitude available. Warning. Oxygen levels critical. Please seek a oh, breathing apparatus no. immediately. Does this allow us to go in here? Yeah. Okay. Who needs access through the keycard door? What's up? Sneak attack! When it's only one phantom, there isn't that big of a worry for me to just charge in at a... Ah! Motherfucking mimic. Ah! Fuck! Excuse you, friend. We're gonna need to stun you so I can scan you. Greater Mimic. I see. It has, uh, it has something called regeneration. Good. 
from Generation 1. A preliminary observation reveals that Specimen 14 is moderately larger than any of the other mimic specimens collected from the Kletka incident, but a far more fascinating aspect is what appears to be its advanced mimicry ability. Specimen 14 has on, on numerous occasions demonstrated the capability of reproducing objects whose size and complexity far outstrip the abilities of any of the other specimen. Uh, specimens. What's more, many of these reproductions seem to be, uh, many of these reproductions appear to be fully functioning. Ooh. I didn't see what it was, though. So. Warning. Air supply system malfunction. We can't really get much from that. Repairs can be made by it's like, oh, it can hide itself as a fully functioning terminal. I didn't, I didn't see that. I was busy looking at all the bodies and things. Alright, at least we have... A recycling thing around here. So, what does the regeneration ability do? Regenerate up to 10 health immediately after taking damage. Alright, is that a passive? Huh. Now we still have, I was about to say, how much of the trees do we have unlocked? We have almost all of the morph tree unlocked. We just need one, we need whatever is beyond a greater mimic that has regeneration. And then. I probably just said regeneration too, honestly. I don't you wouldn't put a number on something that doesn't go further. But uh with this, this splits off somewhere. And here has a whole ton of shit that we haven't seen yet. That's kinda scary. There are tons of enemies that we just haven't run into yet. <laughs> this guy went a little crazy. Or gal? Mary Stevens? Oh, wait. Mary Stevens. She's the she's the chick who made the or helped in making the boltcaster. That's funny. Okay. Get your shit together. Hey, I don't know what problems you you got going on and I honestly don't care. Just get your work done on time because you're holding me back. Draft, help. Uh-oh. Annie, I lied to you the other day when I when you asked if I was okay. I'm not. There's something wrong with me, but I don't know what it is. I don't eat, I'm tired all the time, I feel like shit. The only thing I want to do is sleep, and even then I like it our nightmares. I went to see Dr. Del Silva, but she said there wasn't anything physically wrong with me. Wanted me to see Dr. Cole, but I said no. I know Frank would just give me shit if he found out I was talking to a shrink. Anyway, I don't know if I'm telling you that, or I don't know why I'm telling you this. You've always been nice to me, I guess. Maybe I just want someone to remember me after from Scott Parker to Anastasia Urigas. Well, you're not Scott Parker, so... I thought maybe he just died in the middle of writing it, but maybe he just, you know, maybe just canceled it. Sounds like... He had depression, buddy. It's too bad we can't find you. Grav shift controls. Please ensure there are no persons inside the grav shifts when activated, deactivated. There. Now we can go to the top level! We need to drink more soda, so I can be considered well-fed. Did you hear that? <laughs> there could still be more mimics around this area. Or worse, Warning. phantoms. Air supply system malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. Oh, hey! Starbender 2 again. Alright. As the Mordrak Scream Flayer crumpled to the ground in front of her, Mercy flexed her fingers. They ached from all the choking. Trevor rounded the corner behind her, phase pistol still smoking, the cries of the Mordraks hot on his heel. Mercy grunted. I don't get it, Trevor. Why'd you spring me from this kill prison? I've tried to off you, like, seven times. Trevor replied between blasts of his pistol. Because you're the only one who's coming close to- or who's- <laughs> Because you're the only one who's come close to killing me. Another blast. And you're the only one I can trust. We're gonna steal the Starbender prism out from under Prince Argon's nose. Mercy could only smirk. Her fingers were feeling better already. <laughs> Alright. Well, now I'm intrigued. Hold on. Uh, notes. Starbender 3. Trevor Pulsar slammed the Talon's engines into overdrive, praying to Zalor that he'd make the gap in the asteroid field before the Mordrax raiders caught up to him. He was on urgent business for Empress Tourmaline, and rotting in a Mordrax kill prison wouldn't do. JT-88, Trevor barked. Pass me through to the nearest Royal Fleet outpost. 
Moments later, a scrambled hypersignal could be heard in the cockpit, resolving from static to discordant tones, and finally a voice. Trevor, is that you? This is Outpost Lam Lambda. Where in Zolar's name have you been? Trevor replied, cool as a cucumber. Saving all your asses. I found the Starbender prison. I'm coming in hot. <laughs> he got in between part or book two and three. He got it. Okay. I guess to be fair, I've been treating it like we're just reading parts of the same book, but it's actually, we've actually gone through three different books. Huh. It took him three books to get the prism, or I guess maybe two books, and then the third book, he was coming in to deliver it. I'd read a Starbender Saga thing. Oh boy! I can make the glue cannon! I love that we found so many glue cannons throughout this game. What is this? Whoever keeps making duplicate items, stop. Fabricator is not a toy. Materials are not unlimited. Tim. <laughs> but... But I like making my bolt caster. <laughs> Tim, stop being a buzzkill. I even have... Enough. I should probably dismantle a couple things, honestly. Not only just obviously our, our recyclables, but... There are probably a few items I could dismantle for more organic gains. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. I'm wondering though, uh, is there, what can I dismantle for a significant organic gain? Med kits can go for a single or 1.68. That's a pretty high amount. Uh, if I threw in the spare parts, ooh, spare parts give a pretty decent yield as well. Although I think that's just covering the entire tree, which means if I recycled all 14 of these, that would make a difference. Hmm, let's see, hold on. Yeah, okay. Cancel. So that's... If I recycled the entire tree, I'd get 9.60 or, or, or organic material. Not really worth it. I mean, as much as I want bullets. And or more neuromods. We're fine on that regard. Maybe I should start... Recycling these guns into not spare parts. <laughs> hmm. It's hard bet. We're, 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 we just... We have... Oh, uh, we don't need organic material. We need mineral material. There we go. I had them mixed up because the organic material looks like a gray block. We have plenty of fucking organic material, that green stuff. Ugh, I just want to make bullets. Warning, air supply system malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made. But neuromods kind of eat up my everything. Okay, let's quickly finish looking around down here. Oh. What's this? Uh, is this entire area radioactive? Oh my god! What the fuck? I think that was fall damage. I can take fall damage from that level of a height? Oh, That was the first time we've taken fall damage in this game, period. That's terrifying. Alright. We have some radiation here. Is there a point? Like, are there items here for me? I don't see anything. Right. We could end up coming back in here later on. I mean, we, uh, this room is really fucking empty for something so large. So, there's a good chance we're supposed to come here later on and activate something else later on. Waste not, it is your duty to recycle. Well, yeah, when you have a giant machine that can convert recyclable material in an instant, absolutely. Trying to make sure there's no mimics around here because I am a single hit away from dying. I'll eat some food. Do you think I could put some of these materials inside a recycler directly? Hmm. 
No. It doesn't look like it. Damn, that'd be awesome, actually. If I could just stick them inside the, the box, have them get recycled and get a lot more out of it. I mean, I could always use the recycler charge, but I consider that more of a, a grenade than a means to get materials easier. Annie, I know you'll never read this. I ran out of my office when I heard you screaming, but there was just too many of them between me and you. You were always really nice to me. You didn't deserve to die like that. And now they're in my office, and I'm surrounded out here in this cage. I can't help myself. Much less you, or even Mia. Even when I try, I still screw things up. I'm sorry, Scott. Oh, Scott. I guess he killed himself? Oxygen levels critical. Please seek a breathing but he was safe in here? That surprises me more than anything. The Typhon give me the impression that they could, like, go through, well, anything available, if they wanted to. Like, you see these little holes here? I, I could see a Mimic easily going through that. So for him to have been safe in here, I don't know how. <laughs> I do not know how, but alright. We actually lucked out and got material from him. Oh, I also could have just come from here. <laughs> well, it's not like this place was locked off, so it's not that big of a game. Alright. What's up here? There's a lot of glue canister stuff. Why? Is it just for repair? <laughs> Were we that lazy with repairs all the time? Let's find out! Okay. That's just weird then. It could be an an indicator to like go explore up here. That's that's happened a couple of times. Okay, game. Ah, there's a person up here, Rodrigo Diaz. Ah! Fucking shit, 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 fuck, fuck, crap, what the fuck, dude? Diaz, you little bastard! Get the fuck out of me, dude! Oh no, motherfucker! I'm stuck behind this stupid ass toolbox too! Oh no! What the fuck, man? Warning: air supply system malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be done <gasps> by an engineer or an operator. Hey! You stop tossing the boxes around. That's my job. I'm really angry about what just happened there. I'm not fucking prepared for... for a fight against the techno battle right now. Okay. Just chow down. Get some health back. How am I not able to scan it from here? And was that always above me? Jesus. <laughs> okay, goddamn mimic. Let's go up. I'm sure the shuttle control bay is up here. Oh, the shuttle control room. This place is a little bit bigger than I thought. Levels critical. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. All right. Huh. 
I'm gonna hack it, and we're gonna hope that it works out for us. We need every little extra bit of damage that we can get. I wonder how effective the, uh... The Q-beam would be. I kind of put it away because it takes up four fucking slots in my inventory and I wasn't using it. Hmm... And meanwhile, I've got this bolt caster. Uh. Android version 0 0.7.6. Online. Alright. I'm hoping that it'll, uh... Put itself in a position where I can do more damage to it? We need to throw an EMP charge at it. Where the fuck did it go? Here it is. It actually went all the way over to the entrance. Holy shit. It's terrifying. Did I already scan it? No new data. Oh. That's disappointing. Why do I have three scans available for it then? Seek a breathing immediately. Alright, I try to sneak damage it. It didn't work. Sigh nullifying pulse. I'm gonna toss this. Maybe I can stop it from zapping me all the fucking time. That didn't work. Or it did. Ha ha! Suck it, Technopath! You can't use your psychic abilities when I hit you with one of these! <laughs> Whack! Alright. We've learned something amazing. The, uh... The Null Wave Transmitter is amazing. At least we're dealing with these guys. Because it doesn't just, like, slightly stun him, it completely gets rid of his attack. He just cannot do anything during that time period. And that has me really excited. Anytime I fight, I fight a Technopath, boom. Hit it with a no wave, can't do anything against me. At least until the effect wears off. Transtar, Cobalt, Core 10, Engineering Inspector. Your security activity is compromising. Launch is out of <sighs> Now, if I could find me a healing operator, or a medical operator, that would be golden. But there is, like, there's a whole area up here. Evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. We don't have a map for this place, though. Oh, hey, we can go to the Talisman Lobby from here. Wasn't this place locked off? I'm not entirely sure. Pilot Lounge. Oh, we have the code for this. Nice. Five, six, three, five. Okay. <laughs> we got another shuttle control room thing. Hello. Galil C. Scythe? Seath? Hans, we need to talk about Annalise Gallegos. No, I'm trying to listen to this. Hello, Dr. Kelstrom? I wanted to follow up on my request to view one of the volunteer abdication contracts. <sighs> Anna, you're supposed to be off today. I had some free time, so I thought- I've already told you, the VACs are sealed documents. My hands are tied. But isn't there some allowance for the researchers? I mean, my god, I'm the one pushing the button. Look, I understand. I really do. It wouldn't be human if this was easy. I just want to be sure. Believe me, everything we've done is perfectly legal. That's because Talos 1 is in extranational space. There are no laws. Anna, you're tired. It's affecting your judgment. Now, I've tolerated it for a while, but enough is enough. You need to take some time, understood? Yes, Dr. Kelstrom. I understand. Good. Oh, look, you've made me late for a meeting with Alex. Hmm. I wasn't expecting the transcribe on Galil to be about everybody else. 
But now that we've already found uh, the information that was being held by Annalise Gallegos, Gallegos, it's not really. There's no more intrigue. We we've discovered the truth, or at least we found the file with the truth on it. I wonder if we can read it. I didn't really, I didn't really get any kind of notification to read. We did get a notification, say, like, giving information about what was on it. But I wanted, like, in-depth stuff. Like, maybe there's stuff Please Morgan hasn't told us either. Can be made by an engineer or an operator. Mm. Does this just go around to the main lobby? I think it does. I was tempted. I'm like, I could just turn into a cup. But if I can just walk around, that's probably a better idea. I'm on edge. Man, we had a fucking techno babble. There we go. Alright, so the turret's not gonna shoot its brother. Curious. Either it's just because it's broken, or it just legitimately doesn't try and fight back. <laughs> it's not a Typhon. I have no reason to shoot it. But it's shooting at the humans. Uh, this is not my prime directive. Hello. David Simmons. Hey, this is like one of the few corpses we've found that's been in like... A full on thing. Warning, <laughs> he wasn't given a randomly generated face. Please evacuate. He wasn't important enough. Made by an engineer or an operator. I'm gonna hack this just so I stop seeing something hostile on my map. I'm not even gonna repair it. Okay. So, what do we have in here? Ah. This is the waiting room. And this, this is on the other side of the door. Ah! Yeah, that's on me! <laughs> I should have been a little bit more prepared for Mimics being in here. Okay. <laughs> I didn't have to use a shotgun on the mimic, I could just melee it down, but I feel like I feel like it deserved that. Like a mutual respect thing. Alright, you got the drop on me, I'm gonna shoot you in the face with a shotgun. Eddie Voss. You sure about this? Not too late to flush it all out in airlock, you know. I'm sure. Are you having second thoughts? No way. I'm in. It's just I'm not the one incriminating myself. There's no happy ending for me either way. I'm trying not to think about it. Sorry. Did you make arrangements? Mitchell's on board. He's gonna bring me food. I don't need to know the details. Better that way. It has to happen on your next rotation. I put everything in a package labeled Mementos. The package is in my cabin. It's got to go to every media outlet imaginable. Got it. And Quinton? Be careful. Security is already scrutinizing me more than usual. Hmm. <laughs> we keep on finding so many things about Anna, and we just casually found the thing already. 